will I not tell you that he that believes on me, rivers of many waters shall flow from their head. Now, believe in me, says the Spirit of the Lord, and you shall have life. And not death shall touch you, for life is more powerful than death, says the Spirit of the Lord. Death shall not glory over you, for you have my life. You have my life. Believe ye in me, and believe not in death, says the Spirit of the Lord. For I have conquered it. I have conquered the grave, and so shall you arise also for my spirit that dwells in me and draws me from the grave, dwells in you also, says the Spirit of the Lord. Say the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You are you are alive in him. Glory to God. Glory to God. What the Spirit of God has, uh, has whispered to us? We are alive. There is nothing that is dead about your spirit, your soul, your body. There is nothing that death can touch. For the same power that draws the state of the dead dwells in you and quickens every bit of your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's your even as in you're somewhere in the future. <laughs> and you look much better than you look now. Now say that about the same. Say I'm somewhere in the future. And I look much better than I look now. Glory to God. And you saw yourself on uh, first January, at least I saw you, I can confirm that. And you look better. Glory to God. And I mean that as a compliment. Uh, you didn't look terrible, but you look better. You look good, and you're just looking better and better and better. Amen. Glory to God. Um, I was introduced uh, uh, somewhere, some time ago, I was going to meet somewhere, and um, some guy introduced me as uh, that guy who listens to voices. Uh, uh, I, I listen to the voice of God. Uh, I've also, I've also heard the devil speak, eh? and you've also heard him actually hear him more frequently. Uh, uh, I, uh, I've heard the Lord speak, and I listen to him, but not in the category of uh, what these guys are paired with uh, the goddesses, uh, the guys who hear voices. Eh? Yeah, so I'm not in that kind of category. I hear the voice of God, but I also see things. Um, that um, that concern um, what your senses can pick up, and uh, I don't just I'm not just telling you to behave me. I'm going to show it to you. Glory to God. I'm not just a talker, <laughs> and I don't want that I'm like that. Glory to God. Um, yeah. So I uh, I hear the voice of God. That's the greatest thing that um, can happen to anyone hearing the voice of God. You can never be misled. You can never, 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 never hold up unless you don't hear him. And some of us say, Glory to God. I'm not a mind reader, but I can read minds. Glory to God. What does uh, such a person, what such a person do? But you know, who can read minds and they are not a mind reader? The prophet. <laughs> uh, the Bible says, and Jesus perceiving their thoughts. Now, so he actually read their mind, uh, their thoughts. You know, some people hear these things and uh, think, oh, it's devil, it's devil. That's not true. I, uh, I read minds, but I'm not a mind reader. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm also not a hypnotist. Huh? But I can make you do what I want you to do. Glory to God. Thank you. Uh, if, if I was some kind of uh, mind controller, like this, I would, uh, I would stand there and I would say, Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Is it you? Are you doing it? 
I read, 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 I do that. Glory to God. Eh? But the sadly, I don't do it. You don't do it. Yeah, so hey, um, uh, what you are going to experience in greater and greater levels here is, it, it, it is, it is God. It is God, it is not psychology. Psychology is way below. Um, um, it is not witchcraft. Which was this way, you know, and then glorify um, the blood of Christ. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. One of the ways you can um, um, test the spirits is uh, actually the, the major way is on um, uh, what, what, what extent does is, uh, does the so-called spirit uh, appreciate the efficacy of the blood of Christ? Now, I can stand here all I can, all I want, and talk about the blood, and you know how the blood, and see about how to wash a sin. But if I still tell you that um, you need to cleanse yourself, I'm not fully appreciating the blood of Christ. So I put full appreciation in the blood of Christ and man in uh, what I need. Glory to God. That is the spirit of the Antichrist. Much of what you find uh, being called uh, uh, holiness is actually the spirit of the Antichrist. True holiness is one with God. It is not, uh, don't lose, don't lose, create yourself. It's really not that. It is derived from one with God. Glory to God. Anything other than that is legalism at best. But in its true essence, it's actually the spirit of the Antichrist. That is in manifestation as, uh, uh, you know, what Paul said, angels of light. Uh, darkness masquerading as, as angels of light. Glory to God. We have the spirit of God, not to be theoretical about him, but to practically encounter him, walk closely with him, experience him, see him, Hear him uh, in undeniable ways. Glory to God. I say in undeniable ways. Glory to God. And that is what we are continuously going to do. Let me prophesy to you. This guy is a great teacher. I've not talked with him, and he hasn't told me that. He has a great teaching anointing in that group. Glory to God. Now stand up and I, and I continue uh, prophesying. Uh, now, you notice he doesn't look like a Bible teacher like Joseph. Eh? So he is fine because he is pious. Eh? Now for him, it's where. Eh? So we are going to prophesy to him. He has a very great teaching anointing uh, that rests upon him. And uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Spirit of God takes you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, one of the ways you're going to know this is uh, uh, you know, there's a compass that will open up to you. Uh, the Spirit of God says you shall have very, very great, great influence there. Now, uh, a strange thing about uh, not only just hearing, but seeing, I somehow, my brother, I have my sister there, uh, my brother looks like him. Eh? Now, I don't look like him, but I kind of have seen him change into the shape of my brother. Now my brother is great, he's a weird guy, uh, and I'm trying to see why the Lord would bring this picture around you, um, but his name is Kelly, what's your name? Kelly, okay. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, those are the gifts of the Spirit, eh? not in theory, but in demonstration. Eh? We, we started them all with the most great day. Go to the Bible, we're going to continue doing that. Eh? Uh, after going to the one. Thank you, Jesus. Go to Isaiah chapter 66, verse 8. Glory to God. Glory to God. It says, Who has had 
such a thing? Eh? Who has had such a thing? Now, uh, that spells out the way of the spirit, the way of God, um, the operation or the acts of God. Whatever God does something, it, uh, it, 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 it causes such, such an astonishment. That's not what it does. And it doesn't cause that. Um, it is not, it can't really be stated that the full manifestation uh, of all the, the, the large degree of God's glory has been revealed. Who has had such a thing that an incurable disease can be cured? Not his God. Those are the, those are the, like, the questions that arise when God uh, is brought into the picture, when God is factored in. Uh, and that is why so many people who know, who don't know any better uh, will dispute your, uh, uh, your, your, your faith in the past, your anticipations in the spirit, because, uh, uh, because of that, whatever God does transcends logic. If it is within the realm of logic, of reason, it is most likely the arm of the flesh. Because if the arm of the flesh can accomplish it, why would God be needed? <laughs> and yet, we have a thing that we have uh, both, eh? the two, uh, uh, which is called uh, use wisdom. Eh? Use wisdom. When someone gets a revelation from God, and you know, uh, uh, they tell them, um, use wisdom. Use wisdom. Use this man. That wisdom is nothing but trying to get you uh, to, 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 to lower you from, that, from the level of operation, uh, 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 from God's level of operation. Now, again, when God is factored in, um, it, will, it will cause such questions, it will spark such questions. Eh? Who has had such a thing? Who has had such a thing? Who has seen such things? That a man can know someone by name without ever talking to them. Eh? That's, that's, that's just mind reading. That's all that. Come and do it if you think it is mind reading. Come and, come and mind read people's names here, and then you will see. Eh? So you see, uh, you know, if you try to put these things eh, uh, into reason, because that's really the level of operation, and why you as a child of God uh, get caught get up in the realm of prison, you will defeat it. You will, you will be just like them. The reason that's why uh, you see some, uh, when you look at your life, and you see um, the things that you're expecting, um, uh, seem to be much bigger. They seem to be beyond your grasp. It is most likely that the Spirit of God has caused you to conceive those things. Eh? Which he knows will, you know, he will, he will call you to come up hither that you may operate on his level. Glory to God. Glory to God. Who has seen such a thing? Who has heard of such a thing? That uh, there are requirements, you know, to get a particular job, and then someone with less application after the takes it. And yet this other guy who has everything and you know and uh, you know has, he has put everything put together and he misses out and yet he takes it. Now, those are the works of the Lord. Glory to God. Now until we actually accept that that is actually our default position. That anything that we are going to experience uh, uh, that is that can be credited to the glory of God on us will transcend our comprehension. That, that, that is basically your life in Christ and God. So that is why again, eh? do not struggle with, uh, uh, um, um, with the expectations, with the aspirations that appear to be uh, bigger than yourself. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Eh? Shall the earth be, be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation 
being born at once, really in one day. Now this in context is taken of the nation of Israel, uh, from the days of King Solomon, it is scattered for thousands of years. And then, in one day, God brings them back all together, fully intact. Uh, their religion, their culture, everything fully intact and brings them back. Just like, you know, uh, uh, Moses is a soji, and they scatter somehow, eh? I'm just giving an example, and it's not, uh, that word is, uh, you don't have a complex, so you know this word. So anyway, let's say one tribe, eh? I'm not going to pick out one, because I've seen this soji already. Eh? So, we <laughs> have one tribe, eh? the Vashiba, anyway. <laughs> They scatter all over the earth, eh? and then after 2,000 years, no, actually more than even that, uh, somehow they do not lose their identity. God brings them back together and shows us the children. Now that is the miracle working power of God. And so that is what he said, eh? that is his realm of operation, where he does such things. He says, shall a nation be born at once? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Can you become a billionaire in one day? Yes. You cannot watch. You cannot watch. You have to walk, walk your way. You have to You cannot. 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 You see? <laughs> Maybe you can use it now. What? Right? Wisdom. It is. It is so predominant. Even among the children of God, it can't happen in one day. It's just one day, just separate. How can it just can't happen? You have to, you know. Now, there is a there is a scripture which people normally misquote eh? uh, in Isaiah, and whenever they are just misquoting it, I always want to. Uh, anyway, uh, guys, eh? uh, God says, eh? my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways. Uh, don't you know where it is? Eh? Then he says, as high as the heavens above the earth, so are my thoughts above yours and my ways above yours. Eh? But eh, your people take it out of context. Eh? And um, uh, you know, they they they, they apply it to the system. Now when, when you read the scriptures, you have to put in in, in, in view um, who it is addressing, who that particular word. Is addressing. Now, when God says, and they shall all be thrust into the lake of fire, don't put yourself in that category. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, uh, when you read the great white throne judgment, then the dead and hell come up the dead. Then the dead, you notice know, the book of the dead, but it's just dead, 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 dead. But the scripture says, you have been made alive in Christ. You're not in that category. So you say, oh, then you shall all watch. You don't read everything as applying to yourself. There are some things that are addressed to different people. And so is uh, that scripture, my ways are not your ways. It's talking about the fallen man who has fallen from the glory. Oh, you know, the, the glory from my from, from the glory of God. Eh? That man who is now uh, a less of the image and likeness of God. And so now, eh? now to you, there is a semblance of that kind of man until you begin to actually realize that you've been created and you and brought back uh, into uh, his created his, his likeness eh? and uh, 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 then you begin actually uh, thinking his thoughts. Eh? How do you think his thoughts? You think his thoughts when you think about life and about things the way Jesus thought about things and about life. Eh? When he was speaking of the devil who is around about to destroy the one, he said, Abadiyaz no He didn't say, we are going to contain this devil until eh, we see who wins, who wins, what? But guess what? All come together. The devil has uh, destroyed the church. The devil has destroyed the church. Now, you will be surprised to realize that actually, in all these things, um, the devil is not your enemy, your greatest enemy. Neither uh, is your stepmother, your, your uncle, who refused to watch, somehow make a way for you. It is you 
because you allowed their thoughts about you to put you down. If you did it, they would not affect you. And neither can the devil affect you until you allow him to affect you. And so that's why you are a your greatest enemy. Not the devil. Okay? Again, you wake up and you begin uh, taking on life as one who has been raised together with Christ. Sitting at the right hand of the Father and where who, who all things have been put under his feet to dominate and control and uh, cause, you know, uh, 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 you know uh, things to happen, you will fall down because the devil is on your case and this enemy we have to destroy. Jesus destroyed the enemy. There was a time when whether you thought the God kind of thoughts or not, the devil will put you down. But that was before Christ. When you are raised in Christ, he first of all dethroned him and raised you far about him. Yes. Now, you do not have to open and go for him in order for, uh, 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 it, it, uh, for him to work in your life. Glory to God. And so, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that is basically where we are, where we are beaten. So he says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Now, if your thoughts were his thoughts, then um, you, would, uh, ex you would experience his kind of life. Right? Because thoughts create ways. That's why he says, are my ways. So his ways are like what? You know, uh, uh, Philip, what is Philip or Thomas? Um, how are we going to feed all these people? When he knows his ways, eh, the way he multiplies his bread, eh, then how is going to be found? Because he's the bank account, you know, we're just born to so, uh, so I think, uh, eh, but in that case, if you put that man, I just don't think this can be enough. Now, it's getting them to watch, uh, you know, to test their way of doing things. Eh? And then he brings the bread and the rest is multiplication. And so uh, the same, he comes, he tells them to go the other side, remember the, 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 his disciples, go over the other side, and then he comes, because he knows their ways is what? When I came to, to transport uh, uh, over the sea, the way to use a boat, you need a boat. But that's not my ways. My way is, I think, and I dominate the forces of nature, so I don't need a boat to take me over to the other side. But you guys, are, I, understand, I understand it. So you watch, you just catch the boat and go, I will find you. And then he comes and then Peter tries to watch, at least uh, to get to his level of thinking, and he actually walks, he demonstrates the ways of God. Now, because he actually begins to think like him. And, 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 and that, is, that, is, that is the thing which actually uh, uh, Ada, uh, um, um, establishes us in this God kind of life or causes us to operate um, uh, way beneath uh, how uh, God has, has called us. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. So he says, um, who has had such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion prevailed, she brought forth her children. Now, uh, notice what happened. I uh, want to uh, Psalms, Psalm 78, verse 41. Psalm 78, verse, uh, verse 41. Psalm 78, verse 41. This is what it says. Eh? It says, Yea, again and again, they tempted the Holy One of Israel, and they limited him. Okay? They limited, yeah, uh, says, yeah, they turned back and tempted God. Tempted God? with man. Tempted God. Eh? So he says, and limited the Holy One of Israel. It says, they limited the Holy One of Israel. Now that would mean that um, you have as much of God as you have embraced. 
you have as much of the God experience as you have allowed. Um, some of you have thoughts that uh, God comes to you and makes you speak in tongues. And that happened and you stopped there. And that is good. But that is just as much as you can you are going to go with him. Eh? Then uh, you know, you, 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 you just by some reason or another decided to settle for uh, uh, what you were told about him. Eh? And uh, you know, that was it. That was it. You were not, you didn't think there was, uh, okay, you thought there was much more, but you didn't think that you would actually experience that much. Now, whenever you find yourself uh, uh, thinking in terms of dimensions, eh? measurements, um, that is as ma how much you have limited God. And when you awaken, and all of a sudden you begin thinking of, uh, of, 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 of dimensionless experiences, unrestricted by anything, then you have entered the Holy of Holies. You don't just think about it, I entered the Holy of Holies. You know, really, the Holy of Holies was the place where, uh, which did not have any measurement, remember? The tabernacle. Because, because they mentioned it. And whenever people we try to uh, put God in the box, the measurements, and that, you know, but uh, you remember, and, and they bring nets, he actually breaks the net because he overflows it. <coughs> then they bring uh, vessels to contain uh, you know, the blessing of God, and there's one number from oil. It makes my cup what? Overflow. Now, that, that, is, that, that is God. Eh? So now, uh, when I'm walking with God myself, I, uh, I, I, I make sure I am not, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not, I'm not um, tied back to um, my past programming, what, what my life, uh, my past life uh, um, programmed me uh, 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 to know and to handle things. Now, for instance, I, um, um, when I, um, when I want to know, certain things, I will not think that um, you can only know that which has been told to you. And that is why I transcend what natural science has told you uh, that, you are, that you are able to pick up. Do you understand it? Uh, uh, um, you know, you, you're being told that this, this is your limitation. You cannot know anything unless you have no problem, you have it, you have seen it, you have touched it. But then, I have gotten to know that actually you can transcend that eh? and uh, uh, get to know things uh, beyond the restrictions of your senses. Now, uh, that one uh, 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 helps you not to limit the whole world of this way. You actually uh, begin Walking like him because he's all known, he's only omniscient. It's not, he doesn't know certain things and, and certain things, you know. <laughs> There's someone who, has, uh, uh, who I was telling, uh, some of the experiences that I have uh, when I'm praying, uh, especially when I'm praying for people, I, I, I have certain out of body experiences and uh, man, especially when it is at night, uh, some of the weirdest things eh, that you cannot imagine, eh, you know, the other things that you see. Eh. So, eh, you see someone in that time, and then in the night, man, eh, when you pray, you know, and you somehow, you know, you know, in the spirit, you begin saying all these weird things. And uh, so, I was, uh, I was not telling of you, but I was telling them, uh, you know, some of the experiences which I've seen without mentioning some of your names. Anyway, uh, so this, this person uh, told me, isn't that, isn't that so hard? Eh? Isn't that so uh, like hard for you? I told the person, uh, but what? God is you know, the worst things. Eh? <laughs> Some of the things that when it comes to certain things, eh? man, God says, my eyes cannot be bold. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, eh? uh, so you, 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 
when the restrictions are off, eh, you get to uh, but enter this level, this dimension, where you are no longer operating as man. Eh? Because you are, you know, God wants you to awaken, you thinking like him, then you start exhibiting his ways. Eh? You start uh, 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 manifesting his ways. Glory to God. Glory to God. So he says, and they limited the Holy One of Israel. They limited the Holy One of Israel. What is it that you have put time to? Eh? Time to. Eh? Now, it is most likely again that you are limiting the Holy One of Israel because he, is, he operates from that dimension where in a day a nation can be formed. Now, in a day, a huge company can be formed. No, you see, you guys are not believing me. Now, I, I don't know what to do for this to convince you guys. Eh? In one day like this, it, it can be formed. Eh? They limited the holy one of Israel. Now, Romans 12 again says, uh, let not each man think of himself more highly than the old, eh? but let each man think of himself according you know, to the measure of faith that he has been dealt with. So I understand that uh, you know, I, like, I may be able uh, uh, the measure, the, the level of faith, and what is faith? Faith is uh, the evidence of the unseen. Now, being able to uh, to capture the unseen as your reality. Right? Now, I may be able to comfortably uh, um, capture uh, uh, you know, an entire huge company in a month. Then for you, because of the measure of that ability to capture the unseen as yours, eh? uh, and you know, uh, to the real world. And I'm not putting anything down, I'm doing that funny thing. And I'm not putting again it down. Eh? But that is the measure of faith. But then, God does not want you. It is not the will of God, the perfect will of God, for you to keep, you know, at, at that level of faith. But also, you have to understand that uh, uh, you don't try you don't expect beyond what you have captured. You don't understand it. Don't, ex don't expect. So what you have to deal with is to start thinking about eh? Thinking step by step. Transcendent thoughts. And some, of, some people fear the word transcendency. Uh, they think it is a new age word, but it's actually an English word, which means beyond it. So don't get freaked out. So you, 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 you just start uh, uh, capturing things that are beyond your resources. Okay? What you may call your human resources and, and uh, you know, according to what you have conceived here, say, be it unto you according to your faith. Eh? So uh, if you want things of that kind of level, then remain there, we are not going to force you. But if you want greater things, then expand that okay? to something way beyond. And so shall it be. There is nothing. There is, if you get this, there is nothing that is any possibility. You will walk with God as surely as the very word means. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, 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 he's able to do Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think. But then he doesn't stop there, he says, according to the power which works in you. So he again, you know, he does according to the power which works in you. Again, a degree of, uh, of, 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 of manifestation of, of the God life that you experience is actually in accordance to what you have accommodated. Eh? So stop thinking like a mere man. Stop thinking impossibilities and all, you know, can such a thing be done? Stop calculating your life. Factor God in. For God's sake, where is God in your life? Eh? Why is he there? Eh? You know? And uh, you will be the first one to claim that you're not a nominal Christian. Eh? You're a child of God, born of his spirit. 
they really tell you put. If they really tell you put, uh, what we do really, don't, uh, don't, don't, don't look at his kind of life as alien to you. It is alien to the world, not to you. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. There is going to be a change in your life Amen. in the near future. So much so that no kind of self will not have been like this. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the things that God is doing, which he started doing in this place from the very beginning, are way too big. They are bigger than the testimonies that we used to talk about. The bigger than, oh, you know, it's here, you know, can you imagine it was almost, uh, uh, you know, burning up, and then what? And the Lord told me that, hey, but you know, put it back, and then I come to it. Hallelujah. It is what? It is uh, bigger than that. Right? Glory to God. And that is why uh, uh, He is preparing you to think like you. Right? <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Now, if you will pattern the day according to what he wants of you, what he has laid in store for you, you will, you will just say, Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. You are going to shine, you are going to shine, you are going to shine during this world. You are going to die. What you thought was going to kill you, who is going to disappear, and you will have a great testimony, Amen. glory to God. Amen. What you thought had actually mastered you and was taking you down, will not take you down. Amen. You will not only rise above it, but you will be master over it in different people, glory to God. Amen. You will cast it out from very many people, glory to God. So God is not just liberating you. It's causing you to be a master in that which held you down. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Mother Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Mother Thomas. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is the realm of God's glory. Thank you, Jesus.
Wednesday, Wednesday, couple Wednesday, couple I thought the same too, to get married. Come and lay hands on You know, when I prophesy to people, I don't get to see them again, so I don't know them. You know how many women? You remember the prophetic word I gave them? Many of you are not here. You pray the blessing of God and ask the Lord has done it to you to bring you up to something good. Is that guy around? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree an established marriage. In the name of Jesus, I decree a divine peace. In the name of Jesus. And so, as I do it here, I do it to end all of you that are planning this. The Lord showed me a lot of attacks that are coming in that area, especially for those in this year. And, uh, Sudden speaks. Speaking of sudden speaks, I'm going to do Pastor Ray there. Um, there's a person that uh, you have known for a long time. And uh, um, here is uh, don't, don't get scared because I'm just talking about sudden speaks. Eh? Um, kind of slender. Almost like no. I don't, I don't even know how to describe myself <laughs> like your skin color, uh, but kind of lighter. Uh, quiet yet resolute. Um, what else was it? I was saying of what says to you. There is a way of confusion that has uh, begun. And the saying of what says to you that it is because you have to discern. This is going to pray, I pray for you to hear. The, the, the days of your visitation, when it is supposed to happen, not graduate. And uh, this is, uh, as I'm very very one, this is a lesson to many of you. Uh, learn to discern the timings of the Lord. Uh, even if God has shown you that he is the person, uh, if you pass the time, you get into that period where uh, anything can happen. Eh? Okay? Because the grace for that eh, is kind of lifted. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm praying in the name of Jesus uh, for the wisdom of God, the wisdom of God to overtake him and to overtake you as well, that uh, it will dissipate everything that has just started. Uh, I'll say the spirit of the Lord. Um, um, now the Lord is kind of connected to something in the past. Um, okay, now I'm seeing the man, and I'm uh, I'm seeing the year is uh, is uh, 86, and uh, she goes through uh, um, kind of uh, something starts up. Now, uh, we will die, <laughs> but then we are going to reveal certain real, real hardcore secrets. Um, but then, um, she kind of feels like uh, I am almost not fast um, because of what is happening. I'm trying to see, you know, something for you, but you know, okay? So, um, then, well, the Spirit of God works out something, and then, three years later, there are uh, where were you going? 89, eh? Okay. Um, now, okay. Thank you, Jesus. The Spirit of God again takes me. Um, 
for you a little tail. Um, a very, very little tail is being learned because you get all the attention that is coming to you. You are there as a person for you. So you're getting attention, uh, and it is a beloved, beloved, beloved thing, and you are, you know, uh, 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 full of life and all this love until a certain time. Okay, the thing you can see which I don't think is going to speak here. But there's a connection that the Spirit of God is also uh, 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 bringing to me. Um, something that happened to you in one of your school days. Uh, 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 don't tell me anything. Uh, was it kind of a Christian school university or something? Christian University. Okay. Um, and you are there, and somehow you escape um, an incident. We are not going to go into it. That was going to obviously break you. And, um, and your perspective now is standing down. Uh, uh, you know, who you going to hang out with, who going to trust and friends, changes. Now, um, from what you did, during that time, what you carried, there is something that has the word development, that is uh, something like development, and it's something. That is a development. That's what you carried up. Now, the Spirit of God says to you, uh, from that which you carried, it wasn't very far away from what He has called you to practice. There are people whom you knew who were foreigners. Uh, um, um, who are going to come back? Looks like something has started, but then uh, um, it didn't really take hold. It was like a promise, but it wasn't accomplished. So the God says, uh, um, there is about to come a refining of that, and then you shall know who you are going to work along with. Says the Spirit of which will not be a question of the Spirit of which is now going to be settled. And it takes a couple of months. I don't think it's just a couple of months. But then I see. What happened on the 10th of February? Your birthday? Okay. Now, Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. First of all, I disorganize every confusion in your relationship. And I declare. And the time of the Lord becomes the time of the Lord. And the, this struggle for I must first achieve is put in perspective to the seasons and timings of God. I will tell you the prophet. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus, I decree the peace of God that passes understanding. The peace of God that first understanding. Are you going to meet her today? You tell her to tell her guy not to entertain. I'm not talking to you. You tell her guy not to entertain any plans of uh, uh, resigning uh, for this year. Not this year. Maybe the coming year. Which will be expected. Uh, that is it. Now we see it. Uh, someone asked me, someone told, was wondering, okay? someone was saying, someone around was saying, I don't want to be your sister because for them they see you alone. Know, but they actually don't see me so much. Okay? So, hey, go and tell her that. Who is Sharon? Your sister? Okay. Is she around? She just said, I see her country money. Does she know anything about money? Banking? Bank? Okay. Uh, the Spirit of God says uh, there's a lot of deception uh, of that has happened uh, in that area, not in this market. And uh, it takes more of a taking advantage. Uh, um, uh, we have to be careful of a junior, a junior. Yeah? It is not really that uh, uh, But this is how, yeah, the Spirit of God says, but that cycle of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, deception, you should know it now. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Honestly, time has gone. Yes, okay. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. You lack nothing, you want nothing. You are supplied by the resources of heaven. In the name of Jesus. You are not your own. You are aided by the sufficiency of God. It's better. It's better.